Hey coaches, in today's video we're going to go over one word tempo plays. Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to the spread offense. And if you enjoy learning about the spread offense, then smash that subscribe button. I put a video out every Saturday morning. And if you find this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. Now, tempo is a huge part of the spread offense, especially in my, in my world that I live in. The Baylors, the Oregons, the Tulsas, the, the Bowling Green, Syracuse, Clemson. I can go on and on. Tempo plays a huge role in it. And one thing that actually helps is one word plays. That tells you the formation the play run, the direction, and any tags. And in today's video, I'm going to go over our three one-word calls. They're really simple. You ready for it? One, two, and three. And it's been it's dependent on where we are on the field. So we have one that's in the middle of the hash, one for the left hash, and one for the right hash. Now, if you do anything different, please leave a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. Spring ball is less than a month away, and I'm excited. I want some new ideas and see what you do. Okay, coaches, so here's our first one-word play. Now, you can name them anything you want. I know some coaches that do NBA teams, they do NFL teams, college teams, they do movies, food, anything you want. I'm an idiot. So what I like to call is just a number. So this is, for us, this is just one. So if I'm on the sidelines and I'm going one, 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 the kids know what to do. That tells us formation, play, and run direction, and any tags that are on it. So in this case, our one word play is one. Our kids know they're gonna get in the spread, stack alignment. We're gonna run inside zone to the left, and we're gonna have key screens to the back guys. Now, when you go fast, you're gonna come against defenses that are discombobulated, and they're just gonna put everybody in the box. So it's very important that you teach your quarterbacks that, hey, I have seven guys in the box. I better be throwing it to one of these guys because if not, this guy's going to get smacked in the mouth if I hand the ball off. So we got our inside zone to the left. That means, all right, remember now, tackle, you got someone head up to outside of you, but you also have someone else. So you're going to give a push call, and that lets everybody know they're running the inside zone play side, and they're just getting trash. Anybody's on it. So how we do our key screens is they're blocking most dangerous man. They're blocking most dangerous man. Now this guy, he could have one or two, whichever one triggers. But I have taught the quarterback, and we have drilled it every single day, that you're looking for the free access throw when you're throwing it front side. So there's nobody here. There's someone in between these two. So for us, this is two on two. That's dead. Right here, though, this guy's coming in, so our quarterbacks are going to catch the ball, turn and throw it, and we're just trying to get some a little bit of yards. But the beautiful thing about this play is that since we're going so fast, he breaks it off for a 60-yard touchdown. So here you go, coaches. This is play number 11111. You can see we're in the middle of the field. We're stacked up. The defense isn't ready, but my guy is keying it in. He's checking. He sees that we don't have the numbers here. We do have the numbers here, so he's just going to turn and throw. Now, again, this is having a player, but if you have a guy that you can give the ball like this and he just squirts through there really fast, it'll make you look like a genius. Our next one word play is when we are on the left hash. Now, again, like I've said, I like to have just three one word plays, one for one word in the middle of the field, one word on the left hash, and one when we're on the right hash. And this is when we're on the left hash. And what I like to do is I like to run our pin and pull into the boundary. If we're on the left hash, that means we're running it to the left. And we just call this play two. Because again, I'm an idiot. I need to make things easier for me. So this is our second play in our one word play series. So how we do that is we're running to the left against an odd man front. The guard has a guy head up to outside of him. So he is blocking on. Now remember, you can do two things with this. You can have the center base the nose and pull the guard, or you can block down on the nose and pull the guard. I mean the center. We like to block down with the guard and then pull the center around for the first guy on the outside because I just like the angles more, and usually this guy is a war daddy, and I like the angle of our guard just blocking down instead of having our center man up on him. The guard backside doesn't have anybody to block, so he is pulling. And now he is getting the first linebacker in the box, so right here. Backside guard, you are just blocking on. So the quarterback's reading. He knows it's an odd man front. He's reading the third linebacker or the first linebacker head up to the tailback side. So this is our read key. 
Now what we do backside is since we are blocking or running to the single receiver, he is blocking on. Now this is what we do with our games. Remember, he is running a snag route one yard deeper than the read key. So he knows that this is the guy we're reading, so he's running a snag route one yard deeper than everybody else has the five and in. So the quarterback comes up, he reads this guy, this guy crashes in, he's gonna pull and throw it to the F back. If not, then he's just gonna hand the ball off to the tailback who gets behind the two blockers and he scores. And again, the, we're going so fast, the defense doesn't know what to do. So it will be a, a muddy read for, or a cloudy read for the quarterback. So what I tell my guy is, if you don't understand or you don't know who to do, just hand the ball off. Because nine times out of 10, these guys are just standing in the box. This is one of our better players. So you hand the ball off and we at least got some positive yardage off of this. All right, coaches, so here's an example of our two play. I'm just yelling from the sideline, two, 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 two. The, the guys come up, quarterback, everybody knows what we're running. The ball is spotted. He comes up. The moment it's spotted, he's snapping it, and he's just throwing it. Now, I don't know about you, but I like this result, and we have gotten a lot of that. Since I've taken over where I'm at, we have gotten a lot of explosive plays because we are running our same plays that we've been doing, but now we're just calling them in one word and everybody knows it. So it's no new learning per se, just knowing that, hey, this one word means we're going to run this entire play, formation, play, and direction. All right, coaches, so the last one word play we like to call, and again, this is simple now. You ready? You ready? Three. It's three. We're calling this three, and we're on. this is when we're on the right hash, and we're getting a three-by-one. Now, I know a lot of y'all know this. This is our three-by-one. This is our trio special. That puts the Y and the F stacked right behind each other. And I know defense have scouted us. They know that we would like to run some kind of RPO with the stick concept. So they are, are, are geared in for this, but it doesn't matter because now I want, I'm calling this because I want to get the ball to the outside. We've been banging them inside for so long. We just got a first down. I'm calling the one word play and I want to get the ball to the outside. So we're running our pin and pull to the outside to the right. So the rules are this tackle has got someone head up the outside. He's blocking on. This guard doesn't have anybody in the B gap or the A gap. So, and this is preference. He's going to block down on the nose, allowing the center to pull and get the first linebacker outside the box. Since it's an odd man front, this guard doesn't have anybody in the B or A gap, so he's also pulling, but he's got his eyes on that front side, that first linebacker in the box. Backside tackle knows he's blocking on, and the quarterback knows this is his read. The running back is running straight down the line, and he is looking to get behind the two blockers. The R, since it's, we're running outside to his side, he is blocking on. And now we've got our stick concept. Now you can depend, depending on what you want to do or who your guy is, you can say who's got it. Since we're doing one word plays and I know that everybody is geared on this guy for us, he is running the flat route and then he is running the stick route. So the quarterback is eyeing this guy. If he flies with the ball, he's pulling it and throwing it right here. If this guy just lingers and drops back, then he hands the ball off and we got a nice little game. All right, coaches, so here's the play. Our, this is our number three play. Now, in this one, we went into with it with a little different game plan. We put our one of our fastest players right here, and we so we ran the stick with this guy. But you can see we've gone tempo. They really don't know what to do, so we hit them up. I just, I'm yelling from the sideline, three, 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 and then we get a nice, easy game because everyone is worried about the wide receivers. I don't know about you, but a, a 23, 24-yard gain just for me saying three, three, three is great. There you have it, coaches. Those are our three one-word run plays. Now, if you do anything different, again, please leave a comment below. And before you go, there's a there's going to be a link popping up right here. It takes you to my website, and you can sign up for our, my free one-back power RPO book. I put it out for free just for you guys because I've gotten a lot of uh, emails asking me about it. Also, down in the description, I have some links to these amazing books that I have. I've gotten some emails about the books and everything, and I've left links down below. Now, those links are affiliate links, which means if you actually buy this, I get a little kickback, and it helps me with my channel. And also, uh, down below is a link to a, a, a course for a good friend of mine, Coach Slade Singleton. You may know him if you follow him on Twitter. If not, you can find his link down below as well. He's phenomenal on Twitter. He put out a course based on the Air Raid offense, and it is amazing. So I would advise you to get it. 
And until next week, fellas, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.